All right, folks. So, you want one of the highest damage dealing monsters in the game, but first you've got to five star him in order to get his egg. How do you do it nice and easily? Let's show you. So today we're picking a team specifically for five star in Brutus. However, I've used this team to five star a number of them within the champion challenge already. And because we're taking these on within the champion tower, we can afford to be a bit more aggressive so we can get more damage out. And if it all goes wrong, if the crits don't end up our way, if the wrong monster gets hit, we can just do over quickly and go at it again. And this way we'll get a quick five star. So here is our team. Up first, the always faithful Yowie. So a couple of points to note. I've got a dark Yowie which means that when we overheal, we add shield. And in terms of the skills, I've done videos about Yowie before. You can check those out, but very briefly, we're taking all of the right-hand side column because what we're gonna be doing most of the time is we're gonna be focusing on the life wave to heal the rest of the party. And a bit of buffing to start as well. The heroic party aura at the bottom, which increases our damage per buff, also comes in handy. Then in the far left column, really what we want is we want Congeal, we want Initial Chill, and we want Fatal Upkeep, which means that Poisons, Burns, and Congeals all increase the damage dealt to enemies by 20%. Other than that, we're taking health for Yaoi, because that's how his healing's based, it's all health-based healing. The more health he has, the more healing he does. And on that note, for his equipment, it's real simple. Crank up his healing so it's coming out of his nose and give him just enough mana regeneration to pull off his abilities time after time after time. Next in our team, we've got somebody who's gonna ramp up the damage multiplier, add a few buffs and has some useful auras as well. It's Vazuki. You can pick Vazuki up in the Sun Palace, so reasonably early on in the game. By the time you want to five star monsters, you should have him no problem. Now, Vazuki is pretty easy to build as well. We're taking the far right hand columns and the far left hand columns. Key ones that we want. On our far right, Fatal Upkeep. So again, similar to Yaoi, we're going to get an extra 20% from damage dealt. We want the Mass Restore for any extra healing that we're going to do. And we want the Life Channel for extra buffing. This will link quite nicely with Yaoi's Heroic Party ability. But really, we're going to spend most of our attacking by poisoning. So, again, on the left hand side here, we're taking severe upkeep, which is doing an extra 50% chance to inflict a, a wound stack, and poison nerves, which reduces the opponent's mana regeneration, which ties in really nicely with the congeal damage that we're doing through Yaoi. Other than that, take the slime shot, take the poison eater, and just make sure Vizuki is tanky enough to survive, so we've taken some defense and some health items around the place. Vazuki's healing is magic based, so we're going to ramp up the magic and we're going to add plenty of defense so that he's got good survivability. Similarly, just enough mana regen to help him run his mass restore whenever it's needed. And finally, in our damage dealer position, it's Mogwai. Mogwai you can pick up early on in the snowy peaks. Key thing to stress here, get a dark shifted Mogwai because they do an extra 15% damage. This skill build looks like a complicated set of trees, but it's dead simple. One, we want multi-chill. We're gonna chill everything. So to complement that, we're going with the magic build and we're building the ice bolt, which applies chill. From then on, you're just picking out the skill items that give you crit chance or crit damage, specifically crit damage, but both. Water attacks are gonna give you increased critical chance. You're getting base increased critical chance anything that's going to increase the damage that you do. A key point here is we get crit damage focus, which means critical damage values from equipment is increased by 50%, which leads me nicely onto equipment. So as I said, we're building magic on Mogwai. So we've gone with the orb, which gives us 180 magic plus the mana regen. Same, enough mana regen to fulfill firing off the ice bolt every time. And then it's all about crit chance and crit damage. We've got a cape and impact ring. And we picked up a medallion, which I believe we picked up in a reward box. But this gives us a little bit of defense. More crit damage, more mana regen. 
So we're doing 196% crit damage and 30% crit chance. And that's it. As you can see, we've not gone for like mega accessories. Plenty of my weapons and accessories are still plus fours. They're not plus fives. I haven't upgraded them enough. But it's it's sufficient. It's sufficient to get us the five star we need. Obviously, if you've got the parts, you can go better. And you can upgrade them to plus, fo plus fours, plus fives. And make it dead easy for yourself. So just before I show you how this runs, um, I'd just like to say it. Thank you very much for all the interaction and all the new subscribers we've had uh, through this Monster Sanctuary series. It's super fun, I'm having a great time and I hope you are too. Anyway, enough gushing, let's show you how this goes. So Yaoi is going to start off with Glory Cast, then it's the Slime Shot, and then it's the big old sn Ice Bolt that's going to hit. Look at that, tons of damage, and then look at these ticks. We're doing like an extra 7k in tick damage on top of just the, the standard crits that we're doing there. Now as long as Brutus hasn't completely crippled Mogwai, we're on a roll. It's just a job of life wave for Yaoi. Probably more slime shot if we don't need the mass restore or the life channel. And then keep on smashing them with the ice bolt. And that's our three chills applied and you can see the ticks go flying. He's well below half health already. Two more rounds of this. He'll be dead and it's a five star job. I'll, uh, I'll speed us through. So this is the end of the fourth round. One more hit. Let the passives do the work. Four turns. Scrape over. Scrape over that five star mark. And there you have it. Use this on other champions as well uh, to get the five star and get their eggs. And yeah, as always guys, let me know how you get on. Hit me with any suggestions you'd like to see. Obviously, we're going to move and take on some alchemists next. And since we've gone to all this effort to get Brutus, he'll probably make an appearance. Right, folks, thank you very much for joining in with this video. Enjoy your Monster Sanctuary, and I'll catch you in a bit.